Explore your interests. What do you love to do? Whatever it is, do more of it. And with more intensity. Read a different genre. Listen to a new artist. Consider going to a specialized camp for that sport. Hey, Pirate TV Midweek Update. Hey, 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 Pirate TV Midweek Update. Oh, 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 Pirate TV Midweek Update. Yeah, you know it's the Pirate TV Midweek Update. Day, day, day. What's up, Pirates? And the Pirates are in the playoffs. Yeah, you'll hear more about that later. Well, I'm J-Mo. And I'm Andre. And here are the latest, the latest Pirate, Pirate announcements. announcements. This Friday, Pirate football is set for the first round by district playoff matchup versus Lucas Lovejoy at Leopard Stadium in Lucas. Action starts at 7, and every student show up and be loud. If you can't make it out to the game, tune into sportsgram.net to catch the live action. Also, if you can't make it out to the game on Friday, come out and support Pirate Basketball at Ennis. Catch boys basketball, JV, and freshmen at 5 o'clock and varsity at 7.30. Remember, if you're driving yourself to school, you need a parking permit. It's $40. Without it, you can get the boot on your car. Attention seniors, do you need to take your yearbook picture? Caddy is coming to our campus on Wednesday, December 1st. You can sign up for a time slot using the link your English teacher posted on Google Classroom. Student Council's food drive continues this week. Bring box foods. And next week, November 15th, bring desserts. Theater Cradle presents their fall play puffs. Next weekend, Saturday, November 13th at 7 p.m. And Sunday, November 14th at 3 p.m. Tickets are $3 for students and staff and $5 for adults. Come find what the Hufflepuffs were up to while Harry attended Hogwarts. Wear your ID at all times at CHS. It's a dress code item. Lots of students are getting away with wearing ripped or torn jeans, inappropriate t-shirts, and whatnot. These students may be busted for it in the convenience of teachers and or admin. Attention students, do you need a ride to Friday's playoff game? Join us, limited spaces are available. A school bus will be departing from CHS at 5 p.m. Students riding the bus to the game must also ride home on the bus. Permission slips must be completed. RSVP to A. Ragsdale at crandall-isd.net or sign up during your lunches. This is for students only. Also, students are encouraged to wear their Pirate Pride gear with jeans. Let's cheer on the Pirates because this is a big playoff game. Crandall girls basketball had a scrimmage this weekend and collected canned food items at the door. They were able to donate over 275 individual items for the food drive. We are still in need of canned fruit, boxed goods like mac and cheese, potatoes, and stuffing, vegetable oil, and dessert items like pie crust, canned pie fillings, and cookie and cake mixes. The food drive ends next Thursday, so there's still plenty of time to donate to English teachers or directly to Miss Cashwell in room 214. The Turkey Bucks money update is Miss Glick has $0 in her bucket, Miss Birdwell has $1, Mrs. Appleton has $6, Mrs. Nichols has $0, Ms. Rogers has $10, Mr. Nutt has $2, Mrs. Merritt has $20, so she's getting one pie in the face, Coach Flieger has $0, Coach Goggins has $0, Mr. Warris has $42, so he's getting two pies in the face, Coach Derzoff has $3, Mr. Miller has $0, and Coach Holmes has $9. And that's all. We are celebrating our November Students of the Month. First off, we have ninth grade, Luke Abraham. Luke never fails to be polite and is a hard worker. He helps his peers when they are having difficulties and turns in great quality work. Gianna Villarreal. Gia is hardworking, diligent, asks great questions, and loves to learn. She's an avid student and a great model of what a pirate should be. Tenth grade. Dylan Greer. Dylan is kind and patient. He took time after school to help an elementary student with playing the piano. Caitlin Chastie. She's always present, always on time, and always prepared. We are recognizing these students for their character, compassion, and school community here at Crandall High School. They will be receiving a certificate as well as our partnership with Whataburger and will get a free meal for Whataburger at 
Kaufman. The Crandall Bass Fishing Team had 13 teams of two students compete in the Central Division Tournament on Lake Palisade on October 30th. All 26 anglers did an amazing job, and these teams came in the top three for Crandall. First, Landon Plant and Russin Cornwell with a weight of 6.26 pounds. Second, Shane Streisner and Drew Jackson with a weight of 5.06. And third, Willie Andrasek and Lane Frazier with a weight of 4.66. Congratulations! Their next tournament is at Lake Richland Chambers on December 4th. Who are we here with? I'm not sure. <laughs> are you going to the game on Friday? Uh, oh, um, I have uh, things to do. Oh, well, you better handle them. But I'm going to be listening to it. <laughs> Woohoo! Go Pirates! <laughs> well, that's all we have for now. I'm Andre. And I'm J Mo. And thanks for watching Pirate, Pirate TV. TV. We'll see you on Friday. See you on Friday. Big show. Big show. Woo! Woo! Crandall looking to keep their playoff hopes alive with the win last Friday against Greenville as they took on the Lions at home at Pirate Stadium. And uh, it was a big win for the Pirates. The final score was 46-21. to And it was a big night for the Pirates offensively with 475 total yards. Jamonte Gordon had 233 passing yards for three touchdowns. And Chris Abron had... 18 rushing attempts for 83 yards, and Andrew Anderson had five rushing attempts for 59 yards. And Jamonte Gordon West had nine rushing attempts for 42 yards and one touchdown. And Luke Moffitt had three rushing attempts for 15 yards and one touchdown. Jamonte Gordon West's 233 passing yards were split up between Luke Moffitt. He had six receptions for 80 yards and one touchdown. Sammy Omasigo had two receptions for 70 yards and one touchdown. And Markel Robinson had three receptions for 54 yards and one touchdown. Josh Smith had three receptions for 29 yards. And Chris Abron had one reception for 17 yards. It was also a big defensive night for the Pirates as uh, the first play, Greenville fumbled and Crandall got the ball back. But also, Case Mumphrey had an interception. And that wasn't all. The defense was just flying around all night causing stops. The Pirates will go to Lovejoy this Friday, and uh, we hope to see you guys out there. Come out and support the Pirates for this bi-district playoff round against Lovejoy. So what's up? How's it feeling? Playoffs? Playoffs, Playoffs yeah, baby. Playoffs, 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 baby. Playoffs. Okay, so let's start with Sammy. Big night, both sides of the ball. Defense, what was it, 21 points? Uh, yes, sir. Big stops for all night for y'all. I think y'all knew what they were doing all night. Um, so, Jai, same with you. You know, you were flying around out there making plays. Same with you, Sammy. And Case. Case, how many interceptions? Big money. Uh, two. All right, all right. So turkey season, turkey season. Turkey. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. Okay, offensive side of the ball, Chris, you had a big night running. Big night rushing. Hey, Blair, Blair, Blair. Titus and Trey, big big stuff up front. Oh, yeah, always, always, always. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Dominate the line of scrimmage. All right, well, hey, let's go enjoy this win because we got playoffs next week. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah.